Hey, what's going on, Cancers? Butch Terrell here. Gonna do your one-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Um, always feel free to comment down below. We're gonna be using the Tattooed Tarot. Uh, still one of my favorite decks. You know, it, I really enjoy it. The only thing is, um, it is a bigger deck. And I know Fierce has a hard time with it because her hands are smaller. Uh, I have bigger hands, so it works better for me. So if you have bigger hands and you want to find a nice sturdy deck, that's the one for you. Um, let's get it. Universal for Cancer. All right, Cancers. So the first thing we have here is I, there is someone new coming in. And this is someone you're gonna have a very strong connection with very quickly. You know, we have that lover's card. Now, I feel like we're gonna feel very connected with this person, feel like we almost like we can trust this person, even though we don't know them. You know, I just feel like we, we feel a connection and we feel something that, you know, it's not an everyday feeling. You know, you're going to feel very safe around this person. You're going to feel like you've known this person. Even though you don't, you're going to feel like you know this person better than you do. It's going to feel like you came home. Now, with this person, you know, they feel the same way. But this is not someone that you can expect to move really quickly. You know, I don't feel like this is going to move really quickly. Now, I feel like there's going to be a part of you that may see negatives instead of the positives here, wondering why they're taking their time. This person is taking their time because that's the way they are. This is someone that likes to enjoy the process. You know, you may not be able to see that right off the beginning, but this person enjoys the little things. They enjoy taking their time. They enjoy getting to know each other. You know, this is someone that's going to want to take you out, um, you know, have long conversations, go out on dates. Uh, I know I've used this before, but it, it's very old school. This person's a very old school person. You know, you, you could be looking at an old soul, someone that enjoys the little things like that. You know, so many people like to jump right to, you know, the next stage, but this person doesn't. They like to enjoy each and every moment. When you're not around this person, you're going to think about this person and they're going to be thinking about you. This person is not going to be very, they're not going to be super quick on, on letting their feelings out. You know, they're going to hide a lot of their feelings because they don't want to move it too quickly. You know, this is a person that likes, like I said, they like to take their time. They like to enjoy you. They like to soak you in. But even though it's not going to move quickly, it is going to move steady. You know, this is someone that's putting in the work. And they're going to continue to put in the work. They're going to continue to give to you. You're not going to feel like, you know, in the beginning, it's going to feel like they're taking their time. Because I feel like a lot of people you may have dated or been with in the past were quick movers. Now, not to say this is going to move slow all the time. I just feel like in the beginning, they're going to take their time. Like I said, they're going to want to take you out. They're going to want to enjoy you. They're going to want to, you know. You know, this is the type of person that is going to call you or text you right away. They're always going to have that contact. They're always going to want to know how you're doing. They're always going to want to check in on you, you know. And if you go, you know, a, a period of time without seeing each other, expect them to reach out. You know, this person could even, you know, I, I feel like there's some Capricorn possibly in their Venus. So this person may be, 
you know, I, I feel that type of energy. So this person is the type of person that's going to send, you know, possibly send you gifts. Um, you know, really thoughtful. Really thoughtful energy from this person. But like I said, we're not going to move slow forever. I mean, I do see this person making you an offer of more commitment. And I do see a lot of forward movement. But in the beginning, they're going to take it very slow. And like I said, I, I know I've said this before, um, but I really feel like there's an old soul here. Like this person is one of those people, not to sound cliche or, or old fashioned, but they, they like the courting process. You know, they, 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 they want to enjoy every step. And like I said, there is some people that want to move really quickly and, you know, they're only after one thing or they want to, you know, something casual. This is not that person. This person wants to build a future. You know, this, this is someone that sees you as someone they can build a future with. So they're not, they're not overly concerned about time. You know, this is the type of person when they see the way they see you is they see like they're already imagining you in their future. They're already making those plans. So they know they have all the time in the world to move this forward. And that's why I feel like in the beginning, it is going to move fairly slow. You're not going to have this person, you know, being extra pushy. Um, they're not going to overwhelm you with their emotions. It's going to be very slow. They're going to show their emotions in more of a materialistic way in the beginning. But like I said, that's not going to continue forever. I just feel like they, they, they like to hide their emotions they don't want to be too forthcoming. Um, like I said, I, I get a strong, like that Venus and Capricorn type energy. It doesn't mean that, that that's what they're going to be. It just means I feel that energy where, you know, they, they buy you thoughtful gifts or, you know, they reach out to you and, and just to see how you're doing. You know, just checking in. They're going to want to spend time with you. They're going to want to do things with you. And as we go on, you're not going to see it in the beginning, but as we go on, we're going to start to see how this person, you know, we start finding ourselves thinking about this person when they're not around. They're thinking about us when we're not around, you know, and it slowly builds into something more. But once that offer comes, like I said, that's when we're going to have a lot of four moves. So don't feel like it's going to be slow all the time. Now with this person, this is someone that's going to know how to, sh you know, they're very okay with showing their feelings, but they don't share their feelings till they're ready. You know, this is someone that's very sure of themselves. They know what they want. And when they want something, they don't make that person, you know, have to think about it too much. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes we have people in our lives that care about us, but they don't really show us. This is not that person. When this person wants something, they know how to take care of who they love. Let's put it that way. Um, a lot of nurturing energy, a lot of really, you know, you know what I mean? There's a lot of nurturing energy, but there's also a lot of passion as well. So, I mean, don't feel like we're lacking the passion here. You know, even though they're taking it slow, doesn't mean they're not physically attracted. It just means they know how to appreciate it. You know, it, it's, I was going to give you a metaphor, but it seems like a, ter a terrible metaphor. It's just basically what I'm saying is there's some people that look at love as a race and some people just, you know, they, it's a stroll. Some people are racing, some people are strolling. This person's a stroller. They're going to take it nice and slow. Um, but like I said, they're not going to be overly anxious to, to, to confine you, but you will find over time that this person is gonna to wanna to spend more and more time with you. You're gonna to wanna to spend more and more time with them. You're gonna find that your life is more integrated as we move on, you know, to the point where you start spending a lot of time together and, and all of a sudden, you know, this person is becoming a very important person in your life because you are very important to them. And that lover's card is gonna, you know, you know, that feeling is gonna only gonna grow. Um, you know, it's going to feel like in the beginning, it's going to feel like your home. 
And as we go, it's like we're building that home. You know, we're putting up pictures, you know, we put the put in some new carpet, <laughs> do some renovations. You know, it's not gonna be quick. But don't overthink it. Don't think that because they're not jumping all over you that they're not interested. They want to, but this is like I said, this is the type of person, you know, it's like uh some people eat a cake in one bite, you know, those people. And there's some people that, you know, use a fork and take it nice and slow because they want to enjoy every bite. Well, this person wants to enjoy every minute. Once they see what they want, they're not, they're not worried about time. You know, time is, is an illusion to this person. When, they, when they're with the right person, they want to enjoy it. They want to take their time. You're going to feel... You're gonna feel the love. And as we move on, that love's gonna come more up to the surface. You know, I do feel like they're gonna make more of a commitment because they do see you as their forever person. They see you as the person they wanna, you know, spend the rest of their life with. That's part of the reason they're holding their feelings back as well, because they don't wanna come, they don't wanna, they don't wanna bring that all to the table right away because they don't wanna seem too anxious. They don't wanna seem, you know, a bit crazy. But little do they know that you feel that draw toward them as well. Um, and like I said, this is someone that is loyal. Um, you know, they're confident, they're passionate. You know, this is someone that puts in the work. I do see you getting what you want from this person. I do see you being fulfilled. Uh, I do see a lot of emotional fulfillment. Now with this person, we got a lot of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And we have a lot of Earth, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a lot of Earth, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. <laughs> I like it. I mean, nowadays it's like you meet someone and they want to jump in bed with you right away. And, and they don't call you again. <laughs> and then you got a person like this that that believes in that old school type of love. Um, a few months ago, I feel like I got, you know, that old school type feeling. But I feel like at the end of the day, I really, I feel like, I feel like cancers enjoy that. I mean, you know, they, they enjoy to be loved. They want someone that's loyal. They want someone that's there for them. They want someone that's got their back. And, you know, we all see those movies where you know, you, you have a date with someone and you're not supposed to call for three days. This person's calling the next day. Because they don't care. <laughs> they don't care what it seems like. They want, you know, they want to get to know you. They want to understand the connection and they want to grow it. You know, they want to grow together. When they see something they want, they're not going to let go. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.